makeup look quick hair look just a little something and yeah so let's get started so I already did uh, my face makeup and my eyebrows um, which I don't really use a lot of face makeup but I'll show you what I used I use a mixture of Maybelline's dream nude air foam I don't know if you guys can see that and then I mix it with uh, this BB cream um, by Garnier um, in medium deep. Oh, and for the Maybelline, the color is in caramel. Um, this one's a little too dark for me. This one's a little too light. So together, I make my own little color. Uh, then for my eyebrows, I just kind of use my own Anastasia Beverly Hills dupe. <laughs> um, that would be the Maybelline um, Eye Studios. You know, you use it for gel eyeliner, but I use it for my eyebrows. And I just use that. To apply with the angle brush and then for my concealer which is what you put under your eyebrows I'm no makeup expert but I just know a little some some so um, I use Mac in W30 studio finish concealer and it's really like it has this clay kind of thick consistency so I mix it with my Mario Badesco um, oil-free moisturizer just to give it some consistency when applying when applying it. You guys can't even see that, but yeah. So I use that and then just a thin concealer brush. All right, so I'll get started with the eye look. Okay, so the first item you're gonna use is the Color Tattoo Metal 24 Hour Eyeshadow by Maybelline. And um, this is in the color um, Barely Branded. Okay, it's a nice little light color. It's shimmery. I like shimmery things. Okay, so just dip your brush. And I'm using um, Sonia Kashuk, I think. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but in number three honestly the brushes don't really matter you can easily use a brush from elf a brush from matt whatever your fingers you can use your fingers to apply it doesn't matter okay and just apply that all over the eyelid Okay, so you guys can see it's very light, very shimmery, perfect for that holiday glow. Super cute, okay. And it works like as a base, so it'll keep your eyeshadow on much longer. You won't get all that nasty creasing. It's actually a really good product. Next, I'm using my Take Me To Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. If you guys don't know about this, you need to find out about it because it's beautiful. It's a 30 color eyeshadow palette and it has all these beautiful bright colors. And I love bright colors. I love bright colors. And the holiday season is all about bright colors. All about bright colors. I use this crease brush. Um, this is... Real Techniques crease brush. I love these brushes, but like I said, brushes don't always matter. You can use anything, anything you can find around the house, wherever. I'm gonna go with this color right here. Okay. They're right in your crease. It's just like a windshield wiper motion.
Yeah, you don't realize how difficult makeup tutorials can be until you've actually done it. I commend all those professional YouTubers out there because this is not easy stuff. Making sure you guys see what I'm doing, making sure I know what I'm doing. Okay. Then I'm using another e.l.f. blending brush and using this color right here. I'm just going to put it right here. Blend it in there. Okay. This is what you should have so far. Just to add a little more depth, using this uh, Maybelline Eye Studio palette. Um, it's called Coral. It has all these beautiful colors in there. I'm just gonna use this dark one right here. This dark one right here. It's like a brownish, purplish color. Okay, and then you're just gonna add that in the crease. This is just going to give it more depth. Like I said, don't be afraid to use your fingers. Blend that out a little bit. Okay, and this is what you have so far. Alright, then you're going to use one of my favorite products, one of my favorite lines. Um, it's called ColourPop. And you guys, everything on there is $5. Their lipsticks, their eyeshadows, it's all $5. It's one of my favorite products and this color is lovely I actually ooh, um, got hit to these products by um, Ray Ray from it's my Ray Ray that's her YouTube channel go check her out she's one of my favorites I'm gonna grab this brush. this is a brush that came with my naked palette from Urban Decay and just gonna get some of that this is another one of those shimmery colors it's really pretty I don't know if you guys can See this? Lighting is making everything look super brighter than it is. But anyway, okay. So I just add this in my tear duct. I love the consistency of this stuff. It's like so smooth. And the pigmentation is amazing. And that dark color that we used from the coral palette from the Maybelline. We're going to use that again. And you're just going to put that under right here. Okay, and just blend that out a little bit. You want this huge dark raccoon looking circle under your eye. Okay, and then just add a little extra, something to open your eyes up. I use this um, NYX Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil in the color Milk. You can't really see the writing on it, so I'm not even trying to show you guys. But that's going to go on the inside of your waterline. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And here you go. See how it opens up your eyes. Oh, I love white eyeliner. It's amazing. Okay. Alright, now here comes the hard part. The winged eyeliner. Alright, so I went to go finish my eyeliner off camera. Because I'm just not good at doing it on camera. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and hurry up and finish this eye. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to use this color from that Maybelline um, Coral Palette. And I'm going to use that up here on my eyebrow bone okay and then we're just gonna blend that this is probably like one of the most important things when it comes to makeup is blending you don't want to see those lines you don't want to tell where one color starts and one color ends you want it to seem seamless and just because I like a little extra shimmer I'm gonna go back to that color pop color. Color pop color. Okay. And I'm actually gonna use my finger this time. And just dab it right here. Because I kind of felt like my color, my purple, sorry, my color, my purple was taking over. Not enough shimmer. 
Alrighty, there we go. Okay, and this is the complete eye look. Okay, and for most of you guys, you can stop here. If you're not really into the whole blush and contour, I do it sometimes, more like special occasions when I'm going out, not all the time. For my bronzer, I use um, this e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer in Warm Tan. And I'm just using a contour brush by Real Techniques. And I don't like mine super dramatic, because then I feel like sometimes you look like a drag queen. Like, this is a holiday party, okay? You don't need to be caking on the makeup. But no, basically it's supposed to bring out your cheekbones. Contouring, all you're doing is shaping your face. That's really all you're doing. Because when you put on face makeup, it can make your face seem flat, one-dimensional. You're just adding dimension to your face. At least that's what I've learned. And who doesn't like a little blush? And this is NYX Baked Blush uh, plus Illuminator plus Bronzer. So it looks like you can use them for all three. I use it for blush. So it's a very pretty coral color. Very pretty. Some people do this right after they finish their eyes. This is like my last last step is mascara. Okay. You can use any mascara. My favorite, the one that I'm using is uh, They're Real by Benefit. Um, yes, it's on the high end. I've tried the low end mascaras and I'm just not really a fan of them. But this one, um, my little sister actually got me hip too. Can you believe that? My little sister. She's 15, by the way. <laughs> and I tried hers and kept using hers. And she was like, girl, get your own. <laughs> so I went and got my own. Am I the only one that makes like ugly faces when I put on makeup? I'm like... <laughs> Okay, and what would a makeup look be without the lips? I could easily go with a winged eyeliner and some bomb lipstick. Like, I'll keep the eyes simple and just have some crazy color on my lips. Uh, what I'm going to be using is NYX Plum Lip Liner Pencil. And... What is this? Maybelline? I believe this is Maybelline or Revlon. Um, New Vivid's Color Sensational in the color Brazenberry 905, okay? I'm not even sure what brand this is, but okay. And then MAC, of course, uh, in the color Diva. I'm going to start off with my lip liner. Okay. And make sure your lips aren't all dry and crusty. Okay, you want some kind of moisturizer on there before you start putting these matte colors on. Then you're going to take your Diva and not go too far in. Try and get like as close to the lip liner as possible. Okay. Then you're going to take that Brazen Berry. Looks like this beautiful purple color. You guys must think my favorite color is purple. I just wear a lot of purple, like I said, because my hair is made up of purple, red, and pink. So my favorite color is actually lime green. Okay, and then take that brazen berry, put them in the center. All right. And that completes the makeup look. Now we can move on to hair. Now, if you don't really care to do updo or any kind of style to your hair, like sometimes I'm just not feeling it, I love my big hair, I'll leave my curls just like this and call it a day. 
So if you follow my uh, Instagram page, my personal Instagram page, which is Girl with the Curls, you can also follow my uh, YouTube channel um, Instagram page, which is Obsessed with Curls, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, but basically, there was a picture of my hair flipped all the way to one side. Um, that was when I had my hair in a twist out. This is actually my wash and go. Um, so my natural curls. <laughs> you just take all your hair, flip it to one side. As you can see, I have a lot of hair. It's very thick, so I kind of got to position it. Okay. And what I do, don't worry, I know I look crazy right now, but it won't look crazy at the end. You, if you have really long, thick hair like me, you're going to need a whole bunch of these. A whole lot of bobby pins, okay? Okay, and just pin it. Just pin it wherever you feel necessary. <coughs> See, girls always want more volume. Me, I have so much volume naturally that I have to minimize my volume. There you go. Nice big to the side hairdo. And then if you don't like it like this, I, I love big hair so I don't mind the extra volume. But you know, if this is too much for you, you can easily, you know, get some more pins, pin this part down. Just, you know, keep fixing it till you love it. Okay? Alright, well that concludes the tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. And happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoy Christmas and New Year's with your family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My personal Instagram. Oh, my Instagram. Okay, let's stop this video. Because that's mainly what my channel is about. But I want to just... Give you guys a little sum sum, show you I got some kind of makeup skills. <laughs> Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh.